What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with another movie review. This one comes from Hulu. It's a Hulu original film called Boss Level. If you don't know the actors in it, well, it has Frank Grillo and Mel Gibson along with a really good supporting cast. And this movie is amazing. Let me just put that out there. It's not that it's it's an Oscar worthy movie or it's the most in-depth crazy film but it does have fun and exciting twists and turns and it does remind you of a video game boss level and how you die and repeat die and repeat it has that type of style going for it and with each death you're basically you know picking up new information which adds to the ultimate goal and you really don't know much and it's not as predictable as I would have imagined from the trailer because when I saw the trailer, I was like, wow, this looks like a good movie. It looks like a cheesy good movie to watch whenever you're bored. Well, this is not just a whenever you're bored type of movie. I know that there's better movies to watch out there. I do know that there's things that, you know, are super overhyped and you must watch it on, you know, Netflix and Hulu, et cetera, et cetera. Disney Plus too. But Boss Level is one of those movies that I thought I should do a video on because not I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Don't worry. So if you're worried about spoilers, I'm not going to spoil it. But I thought about doing this video because even though it's been, you know, a, a couple days since I watched it, I felt like people should know about it. This is one of those that flew under the radar. I didn't see a lot of people talking about it on social media. And it's not because it's bad. It's more because it's hidden. Frank Grillo did amazing as the lead actor. He's so enjoyable to watch. You you may have seen him in movies like uh, The Purge. And uh, he was also, I think, in Warrior, if I'm not mistaken, the MMA movie. Uh, he He's a really good actor. Oh, he's also in uh, the, the Captain America movie as well. So, um, yeah, Frank Grillo, awesome lead. And then you add Mel Gibson to that and his authenticity and his grit. I thought I thought it, it was awesome. It was Mel Gibson being Mel Gibson, no doubt about it. It's not like he put on any crazy performances here, but it, it was just a fun time, man. It had like that dark humor going for it as well. Um, it, it, it had a, it had a lot of blood too, and and gore. You know the some of the the, the you know the executions in the movie. I was just so surprised, and, and some of them I had to look away at times, like, it was just a little much for me, I, I didn't expect it, you know, I didn't expect it, and and that's really all I can say about this movie, it was an unexpected, fun, super cheesy time, now, this is not a movie that you go in and you're trying to dissect every little detail, you know, they do spoon feed you everything pretty much, but it's one of those fun action uh you know popcorn flicks you know so if you do have hulu and and you don't really have anything else to watch because you've seen everything else that's been trending give boss level a try i promise you you will not be disappointed i know my wife and and you know her parents you know uh my father and mother-in-law loved it as well well i wouldn't say loved it. i think that's far-fetched i think they really enjoyed the cheese in it baby what would you give the movie from one to ten more or less boss level for me I, she would give it an 8.5 and that's on par with what i would say i think that it's well deserving of an 8.5 especially when you're comparing it to some of these other movies that have been coming out lately like people have been talking about don't look up i did a review bashing and trashing that movie and i was going to do a big ass rant on the oscars because they actually nominated don't look up as one of the best movies of the year that is ridiculous to me. I think it's unfair to Spider-Man No Way Home, to Dune. Well, I think Dune was nominated for that. But I don't think Dune is actually going to win because, you know, it's not the popular movie to pick. And and um, even though people did like it, Dune was successful. Don't get me wrong. I didn't don't, don't take that the wrong way. Dune was definitely successful in its own right. But it's not not that it's not the popular movie to pick. I'm talking more about the 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 film association society or whatever. Those people, I don't think they're going to pick Dune. I think Dune is beyond uh what they typically choose. So, back to boss level. Fun, cheesy, exciting, unexpectedly really damn good. 8.5 out of 10 for me. The music was was awesome. It was it was like it had a lot of hyped up moments. It had a lot of funny moments. The executions were fun as well. So, you guys will have a good time checking it out. I suggest you do. If you've seen it already, let me know in the comment section down below. If you end up watching it after this video, 
Come back and let us know how you feel about it, all right? Boss Level, Frank Grillo, Mel Gibson, Hulu. Check it out. Peace.